We have a run we're starting with. Um, something that DOS was posting about in my uh, Discord server. We're going to start with that. It's a very interesting run concept. I'm curious to see how good it is. It seems like it's going to be pretty fucking good. It actually involves Gargoyle. Right? The Garg thing, gotcha. It's really funny. It seems like it's actually, it's more than just funny. It seems like it's actually probably like pretty good. But you can like have near infinite dash with um with gargoyle if you just like dash towards the ground and like land regularly you can just like dash over and over and over and over if as you can see which with my newly found love for the chase inscription i feel like this is going to pop the fuck off like hard you can do this much faster it's going to take some getting used to And the real problem with it's going to be like in, um, you know, like it's easy to dash like this on a flat surface, but when you're like platforming, just spam jump and dash. So like, oh, I see. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> That's so crazy. That's so stupid, bro. Yeah, you could just do this shit, like, endlessly, basically. Gargoyle is now fast as an F1 racer? This is crazy, man. It's like I said, with my newfound love for the chase inscription, I'm very excited to see this in, uh, in action. And you know what? I guess we'll just bring the pikeman along, although... I <laughs> this is definitely going to be Gargoyle's run, for sure. Uh, he even has charge, which is nice. Let's get Petrify on my Gargoyle, just because it's better than all the other stuff. Bring Mummy for the swap. Why would I do that? Mummy for the swap? What, for the speed? Because, like, I'd rather have um, Bomber in that sense. But, like, I'd rather have neither of them, personally. What up, Jeff Patat Leet? Welcome. Glad to see you. Uh, getting Sylphid would be crazy. That's That's the hope. Mummy's cooler. Uh, I don't know about that. Cooler than freaking uh, than bomber. And I like mummy for the record. Mummy's mummy's good, but like. One blows himself up. The other blows other people up. And one can use rail guns. Uh. Bomber does both, hello? Bomber blows other people up. Mummy can't blow himself up though, so it's like, you literally just owned Mummy. Like, get one who can do both, dude. Now the railgun thing, that's a thing that, um, that, uh, that Bomber can't do. So I guess plus one for, for freaking Mummy in that case, but. One is like one of the strongest skulls in the game, and one of one is, you know, good. Mummy's great, but he's not one of the strongest skulls in the game. But as you can see, we chose neither. I chose to take Pikeman. Because we're doing a dash run. So none of that stuff even really matters. And also I haven't gotten to try Pikeman with like my newfound love for Chase yet, so like. I'm very excited to uh, try them out. We need to hard search for some chase items because we can't really use our gargoyle on, and the strategy until we get some chase stuff. Um, we'll take this. What happened last stream in Wednesday at the end of the first run? Hmm? You mean the fighting the golden hero? Maybe should have taken that mage's necklace. Uh, we'll take this. Dash runs are hella fun. Not only are they hella fun, they're like very powerful now. Also, where did... What? Why, Why am I so poor? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen me have this little amount of money at this stage in a very long time. 
Because, like, we have all of these Carleon items giving me money, too. Uh, you can also jump and dash down to proc items if you want. I think um, to keep forward momentum, holding down and the arrow direction key is the best way to do it. Because, like, just holding down is, like... I see what you mean. It, it, it's, like, you know, kind of like a down smash attack if you do it like that. But, like, you lose forward momentum. But it's definitely a thing you can do. Like, you can do this. Um, I guess you need to be lower to the ground. Like, you can do this. But, like, it, it, for one, it's easier if you're holding a directional key. And also, it's just generally going to be better. But there probably will be use cases where it makes sense to just hold down the down button. Which we don't even have a dash on him right now, so we can't do anything yet. My good people, how you doing? What up, Lucas? Also played some Oblivion Override recently, and wow, do I suck at the head boss in between second and third stage. That boss isn't that bad. You get used to it really quickly. Like, uh, there's the, in my opinion, the Plague boss is a lot harder. Um, hmm. I'm going to take Facebook. I thought you said something would happen after the first run on Tuesday, and I don't have the best memory. We fought the golden hero in the dark mirror. That was the thing I was like alluding to. Uh, I don't remember if you were there for it or not, but uh, I have a YouTube video on my channel about it. But basically now we have a way if we want to, anytime we decide we can, instead of fighting the dark hero, we can fight like the golden hero, but with dark mirror 10 scaling. Um, instead, you know, like anytime I want. Though you need the dev menu uh, mod from that Mr. Bakunudo made the, to use it properly. If you want to see it in action, go forward it to the end of my YouTube video from Tuesday. Or Wednesday? It was Wednesday, I think. The one that has uh, the golden hero in the thumbnail. Is this a skull room? I don't think it is. Even if it was... <laughs> Oh man, that would be the hardest thing to... Because I have a very specific build in mind that I want to do on this run. But like, if it was a dupe, I would obviously just like, take the dupe and save it for later. If it's infinite iframes? I don't know, but once I start getting the dash items going, um, I'll pretty much exclusively start dashing to attack. So we'll learn very quickly if it's infinite iframes. Now that I'm seeing how fast it can go, it probably... I, I don't know. Even if it's infinite iframes, it's not going to be reliable enough to where, like, you literally cannot die, I don't think. Because, like, the Dark Mirror is very unpredictable, and there will be situations where, like, I'll still take damage. But I, I have a feeling it's going to be near uh, infinite iframes. But probably not quite infinite. With the main, seems like it's going to uh, be good for this. We'll see. But, you know, we have to get the main of the Beast King first. What? Is, why am I so poor? What What the hell? <laughs> Dude, I am so... I'm just completely broke. I, I don't even know why. I've taken item rooms and everything. Like, what the heck is happening on this build? Poor run. It's... <laughs> but, like, why? <laughs> what's so... What's happening that's making this happen? Like, I just don't get it. At least we got Calvary Decoration, though, so now we can do the thing. I mean, I'm definitely not taking damage currently. <laughs> it's so sick, man. Like, it, it is consistent iframes, even when I'm, like, not doing the exact perfect timing. Like, I'm near invincible. Look at this. What up, Burb? Just lucky today? Are you off work today, Sly? It's Friday, so probably not, right?
It's like very consistent uh, amount of invincibility. And once I get the timing down to be more consistent, um, perhaps actual invincibility. Okay, let's not fuck around against stuff like this, though. It doesn't appear to be actual inv- inv uh, cause like, I didn't even fuck up the timing there and I took some damage. I think it's close. Maybe with Chase 2, it would be more consistent. I don't know. Having a good day for once? That's good, man. Placing the dash and jump buttons next to each other on the keyboard? My uh, dash is right click and my jump is a uh, space bar, so it's irrelevant. Like, you know, like I can do both at the same time very easily. Trust me, my control scheme is very, um, very good in Skull. There's only one thing I think that's imperfect about my control scheme, but it's kind of meaningless. It's like slight imperfection. It's like a, an enemy like Yggdrasil, you just can't do it with because he's too far in the air. Like, I can't deal damage to him while doing this at this, uh, since, you know, like, he's, like, too high up in the air, so. Okay, I need to maybe either delete the omen or do more traditional strategic. Uh, strategies until I get some more power behind my dash in because like I'm I'm taking damage which to me maybe signals that it's not um infinite iframes but like I said it's Yggdrasil and you can't exactly do it as easily against him since he's in the air so it's possible whenever I lose my dashing he just hits me but we finally got the misfortune omen to proc Okay, I need to stop him from ulting. Alright. I got, uh, three, 4k channel points. Well, you can use those on a run request later, once I open it up to people. Uh, he will take this. I don't value this item too highly, but it's, it is Chase, and we are looking for Chase, so. Let's probably drop the Omen. Or, I don't want to, I, yeah, let's get rid of this. Take counterattack and lightweight, dark ability. Um, one of those is terrible, like, straight up. I can't remember which one. I think counterattack is the one that's shitty. Uh, where is it? Uh, dodge cooldown speed drastically increases one seconds after defeating an enemy. This is irrelevant. We don't need this. And counterattack. Yes, this one's horrible. Um, for two seconds upon evading an enemy attack by dodging. Like, what was the conclusion I came to this? I can't remember. Um, I'm not making my run weaker for the funnies, Doskull. I, I think the problem with this uh, dark ability is that like it's um it's inconsistent but i can't remember why that's dash, dash through an attack yeah but i've taken this on pikeman runs yeah i've taken this on pikeman runs and i remember you can't spam dash well you can with um with gargoyle and the strategy we're doing hmm and the real okay here's what i'll do i'll i'll take this but I'm not, I'm taking this, and I guess we'll pass on weakness exposure, but I have a feeling by the end of this run, I'm going to come to the conclusion I've already come to a million times with counterattack, is that it's, it's bad, it's inconsistent, but we'll have to see. Maybe with the pike, or the gargoyle strategy, it will not be as inconsistent. I think, from what I remember, the real problem with it is like, 
against something like the Dark Hero, like, he's not... I, I don't know. I, I, fuck, why, why did I end up not liking it? I can't remember. I just remember taking it on Pikeman runs, and by the end of the Pikeman run, my conclusion was that it's just too inconsistent. And if it's too inconsistent on Pikeman, then it's probably just too inconsistent. Because, like, who, who's better at dashing than the Pikeman? Oh, yeah, see, we just got it there, and I think that's the first time I activated it. I'm starting to remember why I don't like it. It's the inconsistency. I may end up getting rid of it by the time we're done with this run. Keep an eye on how often you hear that activation noise when we're playing through Act 2. We're not going to hear it often, I can just about bet you. The timing between, like, what it considers um, dashing to avoid damage is way too... <laughs> how many times am I going to do this? The, the timing between when it considers dashing to avoid damage is, like, way too tight. Um, definitely don't want this, even though you might think I'd want it. Uh, we don't deal dash damage with our gargoyle, so... We don't item damage. Yeah, whatever you're talking about sucks. Thanks, dog. This is so sick, man. <laughs> this strategy is just so cool. Um, no, no, no. It, it is what I'm saying, Lucas. It's like, the actual, uh, window that the game considers, uh, dashing to avoid damage is low even though we just activated it twice against these guys okay okay no yeah, we're getting some activations there i guess the thing you have to, to to like weigh it against is like what's better occasionally having like a large amount of damage for two seconds inconsistently or just having a good dark ability like weakness exposure which is what this is currently taking the place of. And I'll, I don't know which answer is the correct one there. It, it you know, cause damage percent certainly means a lot in Skull. What up Scars? Do you have something that's making your dash cooldown to below? Nope. <laughs> we just uh, discovered something today about the, about the gargoyle and how you can pretty much infinite spam dashes with them. Though, shouts to Doss Skull, because he's the one that pointed it out in my Discord server. But look at this. And, like, this is vanilla. Like, you can do this in your Skull, unmodded Skull the Hero Slayer. The winner for dodges literally dash through damage. We'll see. We'll see. I will say in that room we were activating it a lot, which is good. Uh, give me these, I suppose. I'll take the bone shards. I'm giving it a fair chance. Like, I'm giving the counterattack a fair chance. Like, it's, it's activating fairly often. Really, the, the problem with this run right now is we're missing, like, the really, really good, um, dash damage items. We're missing, um, Hidden Dagger and Hunter's Boots, which are, like, the main things I'm looking for. I would also take, um, Broken Mana Engine. And we also need damage scaling, so. Which we get through counterattack, but it's inconsistent. Finding boots and wings. The main things we're looking for on this run are, um, I would say, um, Sylphid wings and Main of the Beast King. Though those are like the high roll options. There's so many low roll options that are also really good that we could get. Lots of rare items that are uh, chase and deal damage. See, there's some damage being taken. That's very much bad. 
It's definitely not infinite iframes, because I was not doing anything wrong there, and I was um, taking damage. Like, I didn't fuck up the timing or anything. I just took damage. I don't know how. I don't know how it calculates it, but... Go-getter is a need? Yeah. And it's like, if I have to choose between go-getter and counter-attack... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I, I I mean the the choice is clear. Let's keep it a buck. Yeah, this is rough. Okay, he's gonna ult. What is my damage right now? That's with counter attack. Like currently the run is death by a thousand paper cuts. Which isn't exactly super great. Oh, and also this omen. This thing can fucking go, dude. <laughs> bye bye. That Omen was just making things so much harder. Oh my god, look at my bone shards. What the fuck? When did that happen? On iron damage, run is a no. Crit? Wait, you really need some crit damage items? Yeah, I agree. Well, the thing is, is like, I gotta be careful about spreading my strategies thin, which is a thing that I haven't talked about in a while, but it's very important when run building in this game is make sure that you're not spreading things too thin to where you don't have enough room on your build for, for damage uh, percent. And I'm already building chase items. So like, if I also went crit items, I feel like I would have no room on this build for actual damage. Do we have sword? No, we do not have sword. Like, I don't think sword would be that good on a build like this. I'm spending a lot of my time on the ground. Yeah, there's definitely something weird happening with the iframes that are, like, not allowing me to literally be invincible. Which, um... Probably a good thing, honestly. <laughs> but I guess the devs accounted for shit like this. Because, like, by all means, I should be invincible. If dashing makes you invincible... And I'm permanently dashing, I should be invincible. So the devs definitely there's some there's some shenanigans afoot. I'm pretty sure if I didn't get rid of that omen, I might be dead right now. Just unlucky probably. Southpaw thinking things through. <laughs> they you know the dead they're smart. You'd be invincible and gargoyle would be considered the most broken skull in the game. I still think people would hate gargoyle if like this actually ended up working the way that like you know, DOS was like theorizing it would. I, people would still find a reason to hate Gargoyle, even if he was invincible to all damage and could, you know, never ever be hit. People would be like, uh, yeah, but um, he still fucking sucks though. Poor Gargoyle. Really, more than anything, right now, we're just lacking damage percent. We just need to get a couple more dash damage items and also get some damage percent, and this one will start popping off. This will do, even though I'm not using my abilities that much. This is nice. Um, this can go. Bro, where the fuck is all the dash items? 
As a person who hated Gargoyle, making him the ultimate dash school would absolutely make me want to play him. I mean, he kind of is, though. Like, like at this point, I mean, look at this. Not even Pikeman can do this shit. And sure, the run hasn't popped off yet. But, like, if I can just get a couple of the right items moving forward, this run will be insane. Uh, yes, he can. It's called Forward March. What do you mean? The down dash version is better for control. Uh, I disagree. Oh? <laughs> okay, let's just take that dub and be on our way. Come on. Main, main, main. Lou's fine. Lou is fine. How much does this hurt me? It's only 45 damage percent, which is, eh, I mean, it's a lot, but Lou's better. Bonker incoming. Bonker would be bad. Because this is going to be a mixed damage run. That was the first time in a good while that we uh, activated the uh, counter attack for the record. It's it's just inconsistent. Flame dash time would be funny. There's a lot of uh, items that I want moving forward. This is actually not one of them, believe it or not. I don't think this would be very good here. It's inconsistent because enemies aren't constantly attacking. Exactly. Look, a streaming guy comment I can get behind. That's that's why. That's why it's not good. And when we don't have it activated, it's not helping me at all. It's just dead. And when enemies are attacking, there's a chance that I'm just going to take damage from them, too, as we've noticed. Like, it's not infinite iframes. So, that's my case for why I don't want this Dark Ability on my run. And why I don't like it. So, there's a good chance I'm deleting it after we get out of here. I'd rather have um, Go-Getter and Miscellaneous 4th one. Probably Weakness Exposure. Man, we are just missing out on just a couple of fucking items, man. God, dude, we'd be fucking destroying these fools if we just had that. Okay, there we go. God, we are just death by a thousand paper cuts, and it's not a good thing. It's a bad thing. We want to let her live, so... Lou, you fucking asshole. Why would you do that? She's... she's there's no shot. Yeah, she's fucking dead. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Here we go. Dash Quint. Um, you mean Lie Weasel? I don't think Lie Weasel would be good with this, actually. But it's worth testing. If I see Lie Weasel, I'll take it. But, like, just off, like, my understanding of Lie Weasel, it would make it even harder to control. Okay, more than likely she does the thing here. Pfft. 
Ooh. Okay. Ooh! If I lose my reassembly here, it would be very bad. Like, very bad for the run. Oh my god, so close. Like, something's gotta give on this run. We gotta get, like, one of, just one of the items I'm looking for. They're rares. Like, they should not be that hard to find. I'm definitely selling counterattack. We, we gave it the good old college try. It's not a good item. <laughs> it's just not. Uh, this is good though. Oh, also we had this to save me, so we were fine. Something here has to be worse than this. Nothing else here is even slightly worth considering. So it's the Raven's Monarch Feather or Bust. Let's say you have weakness collection desire and you're cursed. Two forces on top of that, something you naturally do is great. Yeah, but the inconsistency, like you're you're not accounting for all the time it's giving you zero stats and doing nothing for you, Lucas. And, which is more often than you'd think. Which I mean, we saw plenty of that in Act Two. And it for a, for a fact, it's not better than Go Getter. Like without a shred of doubt. Um. Maybe Lou goes, but Lou's good. I, I want Lou. You know what's a really good item? The doll, totally not biased. I mean, doll's great. I, I'm trying everything I can to not get rid of the doll. I think Lou goes, if anything here, or this. I, actually, yeah, this goes. I have treasure on the pedestal. It's not going to have treasure for it. Yeah, I, I know, I know. I'm getting rid of, I'm getting rid of that. Uh, This goes. Go getter comes instead, which will help them run tremendously. But it won't be enough on its own. We need more. Sadly, we can't go to legendary. I guess it doesn't matter. Get the Hawkeye Dark ability. It's going to benefit the run so much. Guaranteed win. My source, trust me. <laughs> yeah, dude. Hawkeye. That's what's up, baby. Shorthand actually might be pretty good here, though. Like, shorthand actually genuinely might be good because we're only dealing damage. At least as of right now, to enemies we're directly next to. Okay, this sucks, by the way. Collection desire, weakness, exposure, and a curse. I'd choose another ability that would benefit either skill, basic attack, and definitely not counter attack. Yeah. And honestly, weakness exposure was worth considering too, because we're it's death by a thousand paper cuts. Like we are almost constantly dealing like small amounts of damage. Um, and which is it? Okay, hang on. Ugh. Weakness exposure would help a ton, but I need to focus because this is getting scary. Like I said, if we lose our uh, reassembly here, it's going to be very bad for the run. Hopefully the low rolling my door trend continues because um, I need to get to the shop so I can heal. Okay, there's the shop. Though I'm so fucking poor. Which means we're not going to get any items that we're looking for. We're going to have to take a lot of item rooms moving forward. I think what I do here is put off upgrading my gargoyle for a while because him being legendary doesn't matter that much at all. Pikeman being at legendary matters and... A lot of bone shards can go towards like 
damage percent, I think. Okay. Oh my god, why are these next to each other? <laughs> oh my god, we're taking Vayne of the Beast King. But this is fucked up, bro. This is disgusting. Garl does not need any upgrade. Occasionally, having Petrify, which I'm going to be using um, at the Legendary Petrify, is going to be very nice. So, he does need upgrading. He just doesn't need it now. Lugo's here. Uh, that's excellent to see. Holy shit. Maybe this can go? Twitch bugging out, BRB. What I need to do here... Uh... It's better than Monarch Feather. Uh, I did not mean to get rid of this. I meant to get rid of something else. I think the doll goes here. I buy the food. And... I buy chase four on the pedestal. I think from here, the run is like incredible for the record. I think moving forward, there's nothing that's going to stop this run. I think that's pretty much all we needed. But we'll see. We'll have to see. But I have a good feeling about the rest of this. Ambition actually dead. Um. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I forgot about Ambition. Uh, yeah, it is very much dead right now, but maybe, ooh, fuck. I guess I don't spend any more of my core quartz. Because, like, the fourth slot doesn't really matter. What a weird run to get ambition on. Because, like, I need go-getter. Although, maybe I could do go-getter two? I don't know. I'll, I'll have to consider how to balance this run around ambition after we get out of uh, Act 3. If I want to change anything or I want to stay the course, I don't know. We'll have to s just see how it feels. You can take it. Uh, true. Yeah, curse for sure. But now we have like that ant on our uh, on our dashes, or after we dash, we have amp, which is whenever I'm playing as the gargoyle, it's just like constant 30% amp. So, and now that we have a good item, though it doesn't work with gargoyle, which is problematic, but it works with pikeman. It's very interesting that uh, many of the beast king is only going to be working with my pikeman, or like if I want it to work with my gargoyle, I have to spam my skills every once in a while. It's a little awkward. I think we got all the chests. Okay. Can Gargoyle proc... Nin well, yeah, but he the way that Gargoyle procs main the Beast King is by every once in a while while I'm dashing is like using my basic or a skill or something. So it's like inconsistent proccing, but he can proc it. But you need to deal dash damage or... um. Or you need to deal damage that isn't item damage after you dash to proc main the beast king. So like skill damage or like tackle dashing or something like that. Now that I'm thinking about it in those terms, that does kind of affect my opinion on Gargoyle as like a the best dash skull in the game. Because Man of the Beast King is like the dash item. I don't think Gargoyle can be the best um, dash skull in the game. But he's still great at dashing. I just don't think he can overcome the Pikeman. Or even some tackle dashing power skulls because of that. We don't have weakness exposure. I'm halfway tempted to take this. But based on how this run has gone so far, I'm a little scared. It is very good, though. I would get rid of the sword and buy courage on the pedestal. Or I would get... Actually, I think I'd get rid of this and buy courage on the pedestal. I 
I'm thinking about it. Oh, oh, I get what you're saying now, um, Doss. Uh, I don't think we just exposure procs main of the Beast King. I think it's, um, dash. Actually, let's just read it. Attack made against the market enemy turns into a... Oh, so it's just an attack. But what does the game consider an attack? I don't think it considers dark abilities an attack. Should test it? I don't have it. <laughs> and that would literally be throwing money into the void. If you wanted me to test that shit, you shouldn't have told me to take counterattack. Because if it weren't for you, DOS, we would have weakness exposure. Bozo. God, dude. Freaking, um... Pikeman is dealing so much more damage currently just because of Main of the Beast King. Like, Main of the Beast King is so overpowered. Take the Bone Shards. Pretty sure even explosive barrels activate it. Yeah, that's interesting. Well then, okay. If that's the case, then it might benefit me because it's not like my, no, because it's 100 damage percent and that matters. Well then maybe we just say fuck ambition and stop caring about making my ambition as powerful as possible and I take weakness exposure. I'm aware of that, Doss. You, do you really? Come on, Doss. Do you think you have to fucking tell me that? Come on, dog. <laughs> Come on. I, I'll test the weakness exposure. Prox main. Oh, okay. Thank you, streaming god. Man, if only we just, like, we're just barely missing a few items to make the gargoyle pop off like crazy. And the, the sad thing about those items is they're all rares. Um, let's go in here. All right, let's hope this shop is decent. Just give me one of the rares I'm looking for. Come on. Oh, this is great. Um, wonderful, actually. This is problematic, though. <laughs> Fuck. I could get rid of this, but... I think what I do is I just temporarily get rid of my courage too. Because like this item is so, so, so important to my build. So fucking important. We need exposure. That's what I thought. Just imagine how insanely overpowered it would be if it did. Like it would be ridiculous. And maybe the Beast King is already very, very, very good. Um, I think I need to take an item room here. So we already got our pikeman to legendary the gargoyle matters but it doesn't matter a ton and the only arachna scaling that really matters on a run like this is um damage percent and i guess max hp but like skill cooldown and attack speed is irrelevant oh yeah multi-click drifting i forgot about multi-click drifting Multi-click drifting is so stupid. 
But it's actually, it's not the worst thing. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's when you use both your dash and attack at the same time as Pikmin, and it does this. So you can actually use his inner attack a little bit. It's like stupid, but it actually is, um, it, it's not horrible. Like you can actually do some interesting things with it. You know what we should do in the next room? Maybe the worst mistake of my life, but I'm... Oh, there it is! Okay, that's exactly what we needed. This can go. This item sucks. But now my gargoyle should actually be doing some decent stuff, I think. No, gargoyle cannot multi-click drift, because it's specifically a pikeman thing. I think now my gargoyle should be doing a lot more damage. I was going to say in the next room th that we should use um, uh, Forward March, but then I got into the room and saw a Brawler Dark Elite and decided not to. Okay, beautiful. So we got the item I was looking for. Test Down Dash. <laughs> it's like a machine gun. <laughs> Though, for the record, it works just as well with this. Which I still think is just strictly better. But, like, this is funny. We just procs from any damage. Oh, now we can test forward march. It deals so much fucking damage, but it puts you at such a enormous risk. But look at my gargoyle now. Look at this. Look at the difference that hidden dagger makes. And people will sit there and tell you with a straight face that it's a bad item. I don't know why people don't like hidden dagger. I've never understood it. I've never, ever understood why people don't like this item. Pick up Arc Demon. What? Arc the, the Quint? No. <laughs> Arc Demon's terrible. It's like one of the worst Quints in the game. Especially for being a legendary Quint. Honestly, I might even go as far to say that it's the worst Quint in the game. However, this is not. You can't slap the bad label on this. And also, you might be saying to yourself, Oh my god! It's Mithril Gear. It does nothing with Gargoyle. It's only good on the Pikeman. It's not a bad item, by the way. I, I remember I used to just endlessly hate on this item, but this item's actually very good. Look at all these chase items. We also have Talaria Mercury. I don't know if it's worth it. Because we don't really need it. Also, I have Chase 5, which we can fix in the uh, the next shot, I think. It's not on my items, right? Chase, 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 chase. Yeah, it's on my pedestal. Weakness crits or not? I think it does. I'm pretty sure weakness does crit. Because um, dark abilities can crit. Ooh, Savage Nymph. Thank you, dog. Shit, dude. Shit. God, my oiler. My, my, oh, I just love my oiler, man. Thanks, dude. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Zanir got one. Valfin got one. Groover got one. And also shouts to the... Oh, and the Cream Roll Wise. I recognize you. And B&J. Shouts to everyone who got one. Congrats. Welcome to the, uh, to the na unnamed sub club. We don't do that fucking sub club name shit here, but... Welcome to my subscriptions. You guys don't have to see ads anymore. I think we just kind of ignore ambition moving forward i'm taking weakness exposure here because i think it would tremendously help me 
So watch this out. So we don't do that shit here. Hell no, dude. That's a crime. Um, yeah, I'm saving my. Am I? Yeah, I think I am. But my damage is so bad. Uh, you know what? Actually, no. Let's let's use our bone shards here on this since it doesn't matter that much about my gargoyle. I think this matters more. It will help me a lot in the upcoming Act 4. Been so long since you got a sub. <laughs> Look at him. Look at Lucas trying to play the fucking pity card, bro. You guys using the skills? If you have ultimate destruction combo, why even upgrade your skull? Um, good question. Well, so the reason why I want my gargoyle to be up at um, legendary is because legendary petrify is very powerful. But as you saw there, uh, I've weighed it in my mind at which one I care about more. Like the immediate like uh, value of having a little extra damage percent at the start of Act 4 versus uh, waiting until Act 4 Part 2 to upgrade my Gargoyle to Legendary. And I decided that immediate damage percent would be worth it. But in the long term, it does benefit me to upgrade my Gargoyle to Legendary. Just because Legendary Petrify is that good. Just slam dunk right into the void, by the way. By the way, if you just got here, Bach, I don't know if you saw the um, stuff we were talking about in my Discord server, but... Doskull found a thing. And you're seeing that thing right now, and it's pretty fucking funny. I made two clips on the main Discord. Wait, really? The main Discord? and You mean the Skull Discord? And clips on what? Um, are you... Wait, are you saying you, you beat me to the YouTube video or something? <laughs> He's outflanking me? Performing the tech? Oh, this! Alright, fucking Bach. But what truly counts, huh? Seeing the full run being built or just showing people clips? <laughs> This comes out on YouTube tomorrow, so it's a race. Who's going to get it out first? Probably Bach, because I tested him, and now he's going to do it on purpose. Uh, oh my god. Is it too late for this? This would be so good. Oh my god, this would be so good. I, I have to try. I have to try. If I don't try, what am I? You can farm? This can go? Yeah, this can go. This can go. Oh, no, but my courage. I don't think I can get my courage now. Yeah, I can't. We'll get courage in the next shop. Man, it's just... Remember this run before we got Hidden Blit or Hidden Dagger. People will. I, I just drives me crazy that people don't like Hidden Dagger. I actually. Here's my hot take. And I don't even think it's that hot of a take. I think Hidden Dagger is better than Hunter's Boots. Not veteran Hunter's Boots, but just Hunter's Boots. And even vet Veterans Hunter's Boots, I'm not, like, super sure. Like, I think Hidden Dagger is very fucking good. On most curves, it's not really good. That's not true, because Chase is good now. Can I get an attack speed Water Skull run anyway? Wait, what'd you do? Yeah, let me... Find the Bonker. So, before, I wasn't looking for the bonker but now that we got rid of some of the mixed damage aspects of this run i think i would take bonker if i saw it again he did a runner quest he should not be able to do a runner quest oh he did is there a current uh yes you, you for the record savage nip you can literally 
type anything you want into the skull request and just like save save it but um, run request should not have been on so I, I thought they were paused but yeah i can do a rapidity water skull run or attack speed water skull run not necessarily rapidity but probably some rapidity on it Okay, fuck off executioners. Thanks, your person. You're welcome. My oiler. <laughs> My oiler, bud. Shout out to the oilers. What would a streamer be without an oiler? Every streamer needs one. Um, All kind of bad on this run. There's really no way to fit any of this best omen i mean yeah but not this late in the run it would be a miracle for me to and really the problem with the masterpiece omen is like if you see it really late you kind of just can't build around it because you have to start deleting some of your your items that your run is built around to use it and that's not good that's bad i would love oil hack so what the fuck Maybe I'll do a massage stream one day. That'll be my face reveal. And for the record, that's a thing you can fucking do on Twitch. I've seen some of them. You can literally do like a massage stream on Twitch. It's pretty fucking weird. I don't get why that's a thing on Twitch, but it is. <laughs> Do I still want this? I got two pedestals I have to fix, dude. What the fuck? I don't think we take that. <laughs> I already have enough chase. Yeah. Just JJ be massaged? Dog, I gotta, I gotta keep it real with you. I'm not actually JJ the jet plane. Some naked lady with paint all over her? Oh yeah, I remember when that was a thing. That was like a trend, I remember. Like, there were a lot of people doing that on Twitch. Is that still a thing? It's been a while since I've heard anyone complain about that shit, so I thought it was gone. It's like, I'll keep it a buck. I don't fucking care. You do whatever the fuck you want on your Twitch channel, as long as you're not... <laughs> I guess the problem is, there's a lot of kids on Twitch, but I don't, I don't fucking care. I, I just don't care. I don't get why people get so angry about stuff like that, but... It is pretty weird. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do the box strat. I think I fucked it up the first time, but the second time it worked. Uh, we don't need these. Be gone. See, today's on an app that says it's 12 plus. The thing about it is, regardless if you like it or not, little Timmy more than likely has seen titties. Like, the guy's probably seen him. He's probably seen some some infinitely more heinous shit than a girl painting herself with like tape on her on her areolas. It's like there's a lot worse that little Timmy's already been exposed to. Everyone with a mother has seen it. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't count. <laughs> What the fuck is that emo? Hang on a second. I always like seeing people's, uh, s like, emotes they post from other people's channels in my Twitch chat.
Doctor 898 Bliff. Oh, I love that meme. That's a meme? Well, there we go. Right into the void. You ain't getting me that easy, game. Oh, okay. Back into the void. And they actually got me that time. That's what's up, baby. Uh, we don't need to do that here. Eto Blair? Hang on, I'll have to look it up in a second. Ah! Um, Skull Room, I guess. Although there is a point to be made about not caring about my bone shards moving forward. Oh, also I need to let these guys summon their friends. I'm actually a little worried about us not being able to finish off the uh, the thing here. I think I'll have to do some farming against Joan. Joan's going to be the deciding factor more than likely. Oh, I should have let him summon his friends too. Shit. What do I even want here? I'll know it when I see it. Oh, wait. My pedestals. My pedestals. Okay. We can do both. Duel? Duel. Did Timid Timmy treat the titties Timmy Timid Timmy touch through tasteful touching twice? Or did Timid Timmy <laughs> thought titties take time to transmogulate? Hmm, I don't know. What a scholarly question. Any any knowers? Oh no, please. Uh, you know what? Fuck, fuck. Gargle can stay unique, bro. I've decided. I need items. Actually, do I need items? I don't know. I don't even know what this run needs anymore. We're at Jones. Shit, dog. Okay, I gotta do a lot of farming here. I didn't got automated for using the word titties. That is actually... Kind of, maybe you already said that at some point and I let it through. I don't know. Like, Automod's very sensitive. I'm kind of shocked that it uh, let that through if you hadn't already said that at some point. I don't think this is a run where we even consider taking any of this. This isn't mixed damage enough. Tits. Okay, that one, someone 100% has said at some point and I let it through. Like, without a shred of doubt. Um, but, like, tid tiddies? Maybe? Because, like, normally it's spelled like this, I think. Entities. <laughs> God, that's a word I use too much, man. Breast. But that's like chicken breast, bro. Chicken breast, you know, that's normal. Boobs? Okay, see, there we go. Auto mod, maybe it's not working. I don't know. God, we are doing so much damage. Without even main of the Beast King, it's like... Literally, all this damage is on the back of uh, Hidden uh, hidden Dagger. It's kind of crazy. Okay, look. Actually, I need to remember. I need to farm. I need to farm. I know there's like 75 statues in that one room alone, so like, I think from here I get it guaranteed, but I want to make sure. So let's go to like 225. Putus, engage! 
Mommy milkers? I, f <laughs> I feel like it, it doesn't understand phrases, though. I feel like mommy and milkers alone... Although milkers is pretty fucking suspicious. Like, that one, I feel like the automod should deal with. Because, like, who the fuck's ever going to say milkers in, like, a normal setting that isn't directly related to, uh... To, you know, to, 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 to the thingies. The thingies. Schizo? Th that one's fair, though. I, I feel like schizo's an insult that could easily be used to hurt someone's feelings. Whereas, like, I don't know about titties. Okay, this is like the worst fight for this strategy. It's like the only uh, struggle we're gonna have moving forward. Everything else is just gonna be free. Also, you know what? Fuck it. Whoa, what? My neighbor asked me if I oh. could help her with her cows, so I milked hers. That's very nice of you, man. <laughs> Thank you for the 200 bits. I think it's 200 bits. But that's very kind of you. What a neighborly thing to do. So this is, uh... Wow. Honestly, it might be better than Main the Beast King. Although I don't have Chase anymore. I could always buy Chase on the pedestal again. The thing about Mania the Beast King, sure, it's great. But my Gargoyle is not proccing it. At all. So I think this is an instance where I do do this. But yes, Gargoyle can proc it. A lot, <laughs> by the way. Sorry, Mane of the Beast King. It is the best chase item, but today we don't use it. Milking cows is fun. I've never done it. I bet you, I think you said you've been on a farm. No meme. I think he's being serious. So I think Piplip is genuinely like not, <laughs> he's not being weird. Why the F did my message get posted in Discord? What do you mean? Where? Um, oh, oh, I see. I don't know. Meme Lord, Meme Lord, answer for yourself, Meme Lord. Go on then. Okay, so we're just kind of stuck with shitty ambition, huh? Which is fine, I guess. Fuck it. Who cares? The rice fields before my grandparents owned it. Wait, you have a rice field? Is good at proc wings? I know, right? Turns out he's really good at it. This run is brought to you by Doss Skull. <laughs> this is, okay, this what an incredible finish to this run. How do I have 1038 physical damage? Where's that coming from? Try dashing to see if it's better. It's not better, Doss. Stop saying it's better, bro. It's not. It's basically the same, except one of them, you don't have forward momentum. So it's just worse. Bozo. Uh, chase forward, please. So yeah. My kid is finished. And it's beautiful. Here it is. Except, I kind of wish this was legendary, but who cares, honestly? Are you even able to proc the Sword of Kirin? Yeah, I'll be able to, to awaken it, I think think uh oh oh god please there's still a lot of statues but I oh god i don't think it's enough i think it is though because i there's like 75 statues i think we'll just barely have it 
Uh, boots? I don't even think we need boots. But it would be nice to have them. I also wouldn't mind to have a broken mana engine. Yeah, we have enough. Thank God. Okay, so here's my kit. Now we're done. And it's freaking insane. Although, also, for the record, I don't know if Bach already recorded his video. But if he didn't, that's why he's not talking. He went to go record the video. And he's going to put it out before I do. Show damage? Sure, hang on. Transmogulate mean? I don't know. It's a fucking fancy word. That's like a dime, a dime word. 978? Where was my 10 hundred coming from before? It, it's... For the record, my audio is literally glitching out. Like, this is... It's too much for Skull to handle. I cannot believe I landed that face bug. Watch this, by the way. Okay, it's not working. No! Facebook! Okay, let's slow down for a second there. Man, these Facebooks are not easy to land. I expected Hero to melt more than he is. Um, I don't know. I mean, he died really quick there. <laughs> I think he's melting at a perfectly acceptable speed, personally. It would help if I landed my Facebooks more. I think occasionally it behooves me to slow down and, like, plant the Facebook on him. Definitely swap the Pikmin here. Because one thing that didn't end up happening with this uh, build idea is the infinite, um, like the eye frames forever. But it doesn't matter because offensively the run is powerful. Okay, Siphon. He literally, <laughs> he can't even like pull me. Syria. The gargoyle can go faster, just so you all know. I don't know. I think that's pretty fucking fast. Like, how how can you do faster than this? I feel like you'd need an auto clicker to go faster than this. But maybe Bakunudo will show it going faster. I don't know. Uh, all the slashes that follow you. That makes sense. Wait, what do, you, what do you mean? Was it rapidity water? Yes, it is. Or um, attack speed water. Not rapidity per se, but... More than likely, it'll be some level of rapidity. Maybe only rapidity too, but... With that, we can hopefully get a nice windscreen here. Gargoyle speedrun tactics. It would still not be a good speedrun. Okay, that's a great windscreen. We're so freaking high up I, we're probably touching an invisible skybox at this point ggs so that run was brought to you by dos skull gotta give him credit where it's due later see bot clip on discord sure um so credit where it's due to dos that was a really cool idea you know sometimes he cooks sometimes he doesn't this time he cooked and um i don't know like like this is in the era where i'm like realizing how good chase really is so like I'm glad that I discovered this, or DOS discovered this and, and told my Discord server about it. I'm glad that he pointed this out um, after I realized that Chase is as good as it is. Because, like, Chase is, like, definitely a build around that you can just use pretty reliably on pretty much any run. I would say it's better on Tackle Dash or Power Skulls and, um, 
and pikemen than it is on gargoyle like this has not convinced me that gargoyle is like the best chase skull in the game but he's a great chase skull now so like he he's up there for sure but just the power of Mane of the Beast King, I think, uh, ensures that he can't quite reach the heights that some other skulls can. Because Mane of the Beast King is so overwhelmingly powerful on chase builds. We had to ditch our Mane of the Beast King on this run for Sylphid Wings, but it was still worth it. No one can be better than Pikeman? Yeah, pretty much. But I would even say that Gargoyle is not better than some Tackle Dashing Power Skulls, if not all of them, because there's really no difference between them. Anyone who can activate Mane of the Beast King on a dash is probably better than, than Gargoyle. But that doesn't make Gargoyle bad, you know? Like, suddenly out of the clear blue nothing, Gargoyle's quite a good dasher, which is cool. Like, developments are always being made in Skull that people just didn't realize. And it's like the collective effort of everyone working together and discovering things that moves the meta forward, which is cool. I think that's really all I got to, got to say, though. I mean, the run was fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Though, one thing that's very interesting, and I want people to take real, real... uh. Now, like, take note that this run sucked ass until we picked up this one item. So if anyone out there is unconvinced that this item is good, I don't know what to tell you. It's one of the best chase items in the game, for sure. And now that chase is a good inscription, it makes it probably one of the better items in the game. You know, think about that, huh? Think about that. Always has been. I'm glad that some people in my chat agree. Maybe they'll buff this. You think that... I, I don't know. <laughs> this is already pretty good, you know? I don't think it needs to be buffed. It would be interesting if Mane of the Beast King and something like uh, uh, Mithril Gear could activate on skulls that don't deal direct dash damage. Because think about it like this, right? Genie, with his like apparitions that appear behind him when he's legendary, when he's dashing, those don't deal dash damage. Those deal basic attack damage. So he gets fucked over by something like Mithril Gear being the way it is too. It's kind of fucked up and annoying, and I don't know why the devs designed it that way, but they did. Fun and good. Wind Armor, though, could use some damage buff. Yes. Uh, wind Armor is not very good, unfortunately. I would really like to do a magic chase run with, like, Stigma Balls and, uh, and Broken Mana Engine. Like, that's something I've been wanting to do. It would be pretty interesting to see on Gargoyle with, like, this build strategy in mind. Instead of going mixed damage, go like full magic and see if you can make something like that work. Proc main? Yes, they can because it's basic damage, but they can't proc mithril gear. Fragment oh yeah, fragments of sunwagon as well, which is one of those items that gets underrated for some reason. Literally the first hit on his basic attack. It's so annoying. <laughs> I don't find it funny, Dawes. I find it obnoxious. I don't know why the devs designed it that way. But you know what? That's for another video. I don't want this outro to get too rambly. So let's just end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. And I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.